Hi, I'm Michelle Edwards with Ferro Technologies, and today we're going to learn more about the Vantage Tracker and the Ion Tracker. I'll be your personal tour guide as we talk more in depth about the functionality of the trackers, best practices, and how you're going to be using it in your measurement environment. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the cables and connections for your Vantage Tracker. We'll begin with the mount itself. We have a different mandrel mount for the Vantage Tracker, specifically for it, which will hold the tracker onto its base. Now this mandrel mount has threads on the bottom that match the three and a half inch ring. This ring might look like this and be mounted somewhere in your facility, or it could be at the top of your heavy duty tripod. The mandrel itself has handles that allow you to use it without a tool to tighten it onto the three and a half inch ring. If we pull the handles out, we have easy access in order to tighten it. So we're going to thread this now onto our three and a half inch ring. Using the handle, make sure it's tightened into place, and then you can close the handle. This lever will tighten and loosen the mandrel itself in order to lock the tracker on. You can lift the tracker and place it onto the mandrel mount from two locations, either from the head, using the grips here on the side, or from the handle at the base. Just pick up the tracker, place it onto the mount, and tighten the base. Now the tracker is mounted securely and we can proceed to the cable connections. The first cable we're going to connect is the Limo cable. This is the only cable that goes from the tracker head to the master control unit. Both ends of the Limo cable are interchangeable. Due to the IP rating of the tracker, they do have a very tight seal. You want to make sure that we line up our red dots from the cable itself with the red dot on the connection so that all of the pins line up as the connection is made. Push firmly until you hear the click so that you know it's secure. Do the same with the other end of the cable and the laser tracker. The red dot at the end of the cable and the red dot on the tracker. Push securely until you're sure it's engaged and you hear the click. Pull back a little bit just to make sure it's snug. To disconnect the Limo cable, you need to pull on the collar of the cable in order to unlock it and disconnect the cable. The weather station cable is the small cable with a sensor at one end and a connection at the other. You can connect a total of four weather stations to the Vantage MCU. On the side of the MCU are the weather station connections, there is a red dot at the top that lines up with the red dot on the cable in order to ensure that the pins are lined up correctly for the connection. Connect the weather station into any of the four connections available to you. You can connect as many as four weather stations. A minimum of one is required for the tracker to function properly. The next cable is the communication cable. The communication cable is an ethernet cable. One end should connect to the computer and the other to the side of the MCU. 
If you're working wirelessly, you do not need this cable. To connect the communication cable, locate the communication connection and plug it in. The last cable is the power supply itself. There's a black cable that will connect from the MCU to your wall outlet or power supply source. Connect it to the side near the on-off switch. And once you ensure that all cables are fully connected, then connect to your power source. When all cables are connected, simply switch on the on switch. And the tracker is powered on and ready to begin.